Cowboys at seven and seven take on the Eagles at seven and seven. Oh, what a game! It's exciting. It's fun. We've got the Dak Prescott shoulder headache to sort through. Got word this morning that it's trending positively for Lane Johnson to be back out there for oh, Philadelphia. Oh, fantastic. That's a big deal for Carson Wentz. It's a big deal for Miles Sanders. And just the offense moving the chains, something they've struggled to be able to do over the last two weeks, only to piece it together at the very end of those matchups. Who do you like? Who do you like to win this game? The Cowboys are one-and-a-half-point favorites. The Cowboys coming into this week were definitely the team I was picking, but I, I, you know, I've said it. I am worried about the shoulder issue, and if it acts up and Dak can't be the Dak, you know, the, here's the here's the range of outcomes for Dak. Either his shoulder's fine, and he's great. This is a, a very good matchup. He's you know a, a number six, number seven quarterback on the week has a solid week, and the Cowboys come out and win, or. Dak's shoulder isn't good, and he's either missing throws or they've got a game plan to run with Ezekiel Elliott and, you know, Gallup and Cooper take a major hit because they're not throwing the ball downfield, and it, the game slows down, and it's a slugfest in division. And so both of those being within the, the realistic range of outcomes, to me, makes me want to pivot off of Cowboy options if I have good replacements. I'm coming around on, like, I think Dallas wins the football game, and I'm coming around on Dak being okay. We went through this. Would you play Dak in your championship yeah. matchup? Yeah, I'd be willing to. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they, we, we went through this a little bit last week with Lamar, and Lamar is a different, you know, a different category. But all week long, there was worry about the quad, worry about whether he'd run. Um, his team, Dak's team, expects him to be out there. You, you can't run on Philadelphia. You might choose to. You might choose to do it. You just can't do it very well. And certainly they're going to put put it on Dak to beat them. They're secondary, very beatable. I think Dak in this game with what's on the line, I think he steps up. And I, I don't have any reason to believe today more than yesterday that he's you know, more severely hurt or not going to be available, not going to be out there. He played the majority of that game last week with the injury. And um, I'm just trending more in the positive direction for Dak in general. Yeah, I mean, he not got, without risk, but just I'm just giving you my opinion. Sure, Dak got injured in the first quarter, so the vast he didn't leave the game. the The whole game he played with that injury, but that's where you had Amari Cooper with 19 yards, Gallup I think with six yards, and Randall Cobb with negative three yards, and and Dak didn't really do much. It was all Zeke, and yes, it's very difficult to run on Philly. It has been the whole year, but I mean, they they ran on they have a special offensive line. I mean. Ezekiel Elliott was uh, 20, 20 carries for 111 yards and a touchdown the last two times these teams played. Uh, granted, that was in Dallas. Maybe that makes a, a difference, but uh, I think they're going to be able to run better than we expect. Oh, hey, wasn't expecting you. Thanks for watching the video. You should check out the long form, the hour. Check it out. Subscribe to the Fantasy Footballers channel.